hello everyone hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to discuss uh, how you can earn how an automation tester or anyone in testing can earn more than 1 lakh per month so when i started my career 7 years back this was the magical figure which i always want to achieve and i cannot reveal like whether i am whether i have achieved it or not but like i'll help you to understand that uh, how we can achieve this figure okay and uh, before i start i just want to like tell few things that uh, when like i have been in a position when i was doing manual testing so there is nothing like wrong in doing manual testing or like manual testing is no less than automation it's all good but at the end you should be satisfied with your job and the kind of work you are doing should be challenging and you should uh, have fun in uh, doing your job plus apart from that no matter how how much fun you are having if you are not having monetary benefits then there is no sense like uh, this is uh, someone told me that uh, like this money is a great motivator so this this is the greatest motivation okay no matter how many good things your manager say or your organization provide you so many gift but until and unless this part is uh, not taken care of everything else is kind of secondary okay and once like there should be a balance between both of two even if you are earning high okay and you don't have the work life balance then also it's not a good like good thing and there is a misconception that all the high paying jobs take away your work life balance and they don't provide you leaves there is nothing like that believe me you have to work like uh like ideal uh, working hours are from 9 to 6 okay or from 11 to 8 so you have to clock in 9 uh, hours and in 9 hours you have to work for 8 hours so if you are earning 30k per month also or you are earning 30 lakh like that will be like too much 30 lakh per month but 3 lakh per month also is achievable like i have seen tester getting this amount also believe me guys this is reality okay so no matter whether you are earning 30k or 3 lakhs per month you are going to clock in 8 hours only okay obviously at this position uh, there are more responsibilities and you don't have to do the testing i mean apart from that you have to look into the architecture and all that but like that's a part of your job that's why you are paid so much just to like uh, either you have a niche technology or something different that's why like you are uh, or maybe uh, like you have more than 12 to 15 years of experience then you can achieve this okay but then also you have to be different so that's uh, like in this video we are going to see like how uh, you can achieve that so our target is like 1 lakh per month this is the magical amount and i'm sure like most of the guys uh, like this is this is something which everyone should aim for okay again i have uh, like told this part that your years of experience matters so the least experience which i have seen getting someone although freshers from like IIT and NITs get these packages but that is more of a development job or AIML job but like I'm not sure that someone from IIT into testing get this much okay but like this part I'm not sure that's why like I'll not take uh, count of freshers but I have seen like average guys with 3 years of experience getting this uh, getting this amount okay so if you are more than 3 years of experience that means uh, like you can totally achieve this okay and if you are like more than 5 or 7 years of experience and you have not yet achieved this then i think uh, like it's a very high time for you to look out and upgrade your skills and uh, like whatever do whatever you have to do but like this is the bare minimum for um, like more than 7 years of experience guy okay so let me ra if you are greater than 7 years of experience then this is the minimum which you should get because as i have discussed earlier in my previous video regarding the 3x salary rule so this is the bare minimum so 7 into 3 is 21 so that is like way more than this but still like this is the underline okay 
and if in three or four years you are getting this then it's really good and if you are not then i'm going to share what skills uh, you should have to achieve this amount okay so let's say you are currently working as a manual tester and you have to that's 100 percent sure that you have to learn automation without this getting at this amount is next to impossible with under seven years of experience so keep this thing in mind because i have seen manual tester of more than uh, 10 years getting this amount but like you have to be dependent and all that so we'll not take uh, that thing in account so if you are less than seven years of experience and you are a manual tester then you have to switch into automation to get this amount okay keep this thing in mind so and how you can transition from manual to automation um, i have covered it in a separate video so you can watch that or click on the i button to view the video and uh, i have uh, like uh, explained step by step process uh, how after manual you should start learning java basics and after that basic selenium and architecture of selenium okay so these things you have to keep in mind and i'll not repeat those you can watch the video and see like how you can transition from manual to automation and believe me guys it's like until unless we do that kind of thing we always think that this is scary and i have seen guys uh, like clocking 12 hours per day in manual testing cribbing about their job their boss but still not able to switch because they don't have skill set okay until and unless you don't you have the skill set and you have confidence in yourself okay how you like how will you develop the confidence by gaining knowledge okay and like don't tell me that uh, you are doing 12 hours of work per day and on weekend you are like either enjoying yourself or watching netflix then you are like you are in the wrong path okay so let's say like in let's take the ideal situation that you have eight hours and uh, like that's your office like eight to nine hours of office and uh, you have to sleep for eight hours like that is 16 and uh, your daily course like making breakfast or anything and doing household work like this is for ladies but like i'll try to be gender neutral but whatever like uh, you have to go to gym and everything in those four hours but you are still left with four hours so try to think it this way that these are the golden four hours for you and if you have to switch from like if you have to get out of this toxic environment then you have to like learn things in these four hours okay so like there is no shortcut to hard work you have to work hard and you have to develop skills and uh, like i was once in this kind of situation where i i didn't don't know what i was doing and i was stuck in this job but like i don't know how i gathered courage and i tried to learn um, selenium and uh, like thanks to my teachers that uh, they so just like uh, every movie don't uh, stimulate you similarly not every udemy course or any automation course can teach you the right thing okay like everyone has their different style of teaching but uh, it's uh, like what clicks for you okay so once you are done with the automation part so the thing is that with five or seven years only this part is not sufficient okay you have to get an additional flavor of uh, like either you should know api or you should be like hands-on experience in jmeter for performance testing sorry or you are good with database like at least with automation like let's say you have learned java selenium so with this you should have an additional skill okay and that you have to like do it because nowadays like market is flooded with java selenium guys okay until unless you do something else let's say you have worked on cloud or like you are good in uh, like the azure devops okay the ci cd part and you can create pipeline so this and this is an very additional and try to pick up a niche skill 
by niche i mean like people try to run away from javascript so pick up javascript and learn playwright or let's say cypress so that way like you are bridging that gap okay uh, of the uh, job description and your skill set now you have done everything and uh, although uh, once you once you are done with this thing so couple of days back i have made how to like reach out to recruiters this is also plays a very important role because until unless like preparing for interview is a different game but how to reach out to uh, recruiters hrs how to get calls for job is a different game in itself so like you can like watch that video i'll link down in the description box okay and i have explained uh, like detailed detailed explanation of how to send a mail and that's really good i think you should check it out okay and one more factor which can decide that uh, how much uh, pay you are getting is frequency of changing jobs so let's say no matter uh, like how much hard work you do but if you are stuck in same job for 5 to 7 years and you haven't gave any interview in this then like you will be below market standards like most of the time this is like exceptions are always there and uh, if your current organization is respecting you and uh, like giving you what you need and taking care of your the financial aspect then like there is no problem in clocking 5 years but you should always be uh, like job ready until unless like either you create a dependency in your current role or like you should be able to justify your 7 years of experience in the same organization although uh, like organization love these kind of guys but you got my point like uh, if you stay 7 years you should be at par with your peers who have switched job after every 2 years okay and in the end luck plays a factor you cannot deny that because what like just before pre covid and after covid so things have changed rapidly and nowadays like uh, there is a hiring freeze and you don't get so many calls but just before that like uh, year 2021 and the like first quarter of 22 these are the golden uh, period and if someone has not switched in it then he or she might have missed a train okay so that is the luck because uh, and one more x factor which you can decide is that how you approach things so let's say you have done everything and you are getting rejections so how you should like get over rejections and uh, try to like just be fresh and apply for next job so that's a kind of super power because after rejection you try and you tend to lose your uh, like motivation but you still have to get up and uh, like apply for next job okay so these are the few factors which i think if you can follow like you will be able to get to this figure in ideally like within 5 to 7 years of range if you are getting this uh, below 5 years then get yourself lucky that um, not lucky ex- um, matlab uh, you are hard working and you have made some right moves okay and if after 7 years if you are not at this amount then you should work hard and upgrade your skills and soon you will be in this league okay and again like this is a state of mind like nothing changes after getting this but you just have confidence and uh, let's say the the good thing about having skill set is that let's say uh, tomorrow you have like you're not liking your job or maybe your work culture is toxic and you get into any trouble so you always have that confidence okay that like i can get a job always have this confidence and how can you get this confidence only by luck um, gaining skills and uh, you have your trust in your knowledge so that's the ultimate uh, like flex and that's it guys i hope you find it useful uh, this video useful and still if you have any doubt just comment down below and i'll try to help you out thank you guys